So we're going to create a flashcard activity here in Moodle. Uh, I'm going to click on add an activity and select interactive content, which is how we add H5P into Moodle using the uh, H5P plugin. First of all, I will want to add a description of what this content is going to be all about and then choose flashcards. So I'm just going to search for flashcards here. There it is. Click on flashcard and that will bring up our kind of standard interface to the flashcard content type. So first of all, I want to add a title, something that is short, clear and concise as we do with any H5P activity or content type here. I want to do that. And then I will add a description that, you know, the actual task description for the learner. So the way the flashcards works is by setting up a number of cards. And we have this first card here as the default. I'm going to ask the question, what is this fish? And I know that I've got uh, an image of a clownfish ready prepared. So I'm going to click that uh, there, add that find my image, my files area. And obviously I've added clownfish as the answer. We um, we can edit images as soon as we put them in there. We got some fairly basic editing tools, uh, a simple rotate option and a simple crop option. Uh, I'm fairly happy with the image I've got there. So I'm just gonna click on cancel. Um, I'm happy with that, that's okay. Uh, we do want to add alternative text to the image. This may appear if the uh, if the user hovers their mouse in the browser over that image. It, it may show like a tooltip, um, and just good standard practice these days to always add alternate text for images. We also have the ability to add a tip here, and in this case, I'm adding a tip that may help people recognize this as as uh, a clownfish from finding nemo um do have a couple of options here uh, i'm not too concerned about those at the moment you can obviously set those as appropriate for your own activity so now i just want to add my second flash card so we just add a new card and then repeat the process for the first uh card that we made and in this case I'm going to have an image of a, an Australian marsupial. There are a few Australian marsupials, but um, perhaps the best known one would be the koala, maybe a kangaroo, maybe a koala. In this case, we have a koala. Again, I've got an image ready prepared there. Just going to click on add, select that from my files area. Again, quickly adding some alternative text for that image. Make sure we always do that these days with images on the web. And um, again, another tip. So the tips could be uh, quite subtle or they could be, you know, really help to give away the answer. Very much depends on how you're using this activity. And I guess your learners, younger learners may want more obvious tips. So I'm fairly happy with that now. Everything's finished. So in this case, in Moodle, I can just come down to the bottom and click save and have a look at that. So here's the H5P flashcard actually working. I can take a guess at this first option. Uh, is it a shark? Click on check. No, it's not. Fairly obvious feedback there. A cross and a red color. Uh, the second question comes up and then I can second flashcard comes up I can look at the tip in this case might give me more of a clue however I'm fairly sure that that's a koala so I'm gonna add koala in there and then check that answer yep good nice green color nice tick good feedback and then I can go and look at the overall results and see how I did on each question there. Quite a nice display. If enabled, I may have the option to retry that. That's one of the settings that teachers and designers can make. So a simple flashcard just to
cards in there, but a working example. 